We're talking about another theme for International Day. This one is sure to make you smile. Joining me now is Joni Clark. She's the Director of Development at the Children's Center yes. Utah. Before we jump into the International Day of Happiness, we have to talk about how happy we were at the event yes. yesterday, the Children's Center Jewelry Luncheon. This is their big fundraiser every single year. I was lucky enough to MC, be there with 400 men and women who were all raising money for the Children's Center. How did we do? It was so fun. You were so great. Great. Thank you. We did fantastic. Our goal was 165,000, and I'm pretty sure we're going to surpass it. Congratulations. Yes. I'm yes. so glad. Yeah. It was the 10th anniversary, so this was a big year. And it's about the kids. I mean, yeah. it's fun to see your friends and sip champagne and buy jewelry, but the money goes to such a great cause. Yes. Let's talk about the Children's Center and what you do there. Yeah. Why is this so important to have in our community? So the mission of the Children's Center is to provide comprehensive mental health care to enhance the emotional well-being of infants toddlers, preschoolers, and their families. And mental health is such a big issue in our community right now. It is, absolutely. Not just for adults, but we're talking about the little ones out there. What is the International Day of Happiness and how does that relate? Yeah, so March 20th is the International Day of Happiness and who everybody deserves to be happy, right? So there's just a couple of tips that you can do. Um, one is be mindful, sit and breathe and think, um, how am I feeling today? The next one is be grateful. Think what what am I happy about? What do I have to be thankful for? And most importantly, um, be kind. Spreading kindness goes a long way. Um, but of course, there's times where you're not so happy and that's okay. Um, everyone has mental health and everyone has mental health challenges, including children and including those young children that the Children's Center Utah serves. The, toddlers, the preschoolers. What can you look for in your children? I mean, like you said, everyone has bad days. Yes. Um, but how do you know when it's just a lot, when it's too much? Mm -hmm. Parents just know their kids and caregivers know their kids. And so if you're concerned that your child is just something's off, um, go to childrencenterutah.org, especially if it's that zero to six age range. We have quite a few resources online. Um, and then call our intake center. They will work with you. It's an incredible team of people in our intake center. And if we can't help you, they will refer you to other resources. A mom that was speaking yesterday at the event said her child lost his light. Mm -hmm. That's how she described it. Yes. That suddenly she knew that light was gone. Yeah. Do you hear that often? Yeah. Parents know. They know their kids. And so if you're feeling something is not right, that's that's your sign to, to talk to your pediatrician, um, talk to someone that is in the field and, and get some resources. Can you as a parent help your kids manage big feelings? You can. And the Children's Center Utah can help you know how to do that. You just or need the tools sometimes. You just need the tools and the resources and they're out there. Sometimes they're hard to find. Um, and we can help you find them. It's incredible to have that right here in our community. Will you give yeah. that website one more time? Sure will, childrencenterutah.org. You can go to abc4.com slash daily dish and we'll put yeah. a link right there. Joni, so good to see you. So good to I'm see so you. I'm so happy that was a success It yesterday. was great, thanks. We'll be right back with more Dish after this.